Right, just checking in again. This is our first rest, um, ingredient for catch and cook. Now this is a bit of a consolation, came a bit of, as a bit of a surprise to me. They're razor clams and um, they are very abundant here. So this was the result of 10, 15 minutes foraging. That's what we've got there. And we also have our daily quota of cockles. It's 50 per person. That's well and truly under the limit there. And we'll check in once again once we've gathered the other ingredients. G'day guys. We're back from another coastal foraging trip. And um, this trip has turned out, turned out to be quite an educational one for me too because um, I'll just show you what a result of our catch is. Now this is a, a first for me in gathering these. Um, they are common in some New South Wales estuaries. I've actually had this one time before in Asia. Um, I forgot what the name was called in Asia, but the scientific name for this is actually called a biocolor razor clam. Now, um, I'm going to process this and I'll show you what it looks like of the anatomy inside. The tool of choice that I'm using for this is my trusty fillet knife, just because of the nature of the shell. And I'll just give you a quick demonstration of how it's done. As you can see, with this particular razor clam, it's actually more shell than it is um, edible parts. But nonetheless, it is quite lovely. And I'll just quickly remove all the meat from the shell and I'll explain to you a bit more about it. So that's the shell there. And this is the whole razor clam with all the entrails, the meat. The edible part is actually this part here, which is the muscle membrane. I'll just quickly remove that. And the appearance is exactly the same as your common scallop. However, the taste is, it's comparable, but it's a bit chewier. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly process these and um, I'll tell you a bit more about them. Okay, so that's um, the result of our foraging. As you can see, all of that for that but um, it is well and truly worth the processing and the effort because this is quite a lovely uh, seafood to eat. However, I, the last time when I, um, I did mention I had this once in Asia, we actually had all of that entrails and bit, but it was cleaned in a professional way and I don't know how to do it because the nature of where this razor clam lives, it lives in a very muddy environment. So if you don't do it properly, uh, <laughs> It can be um, an epic fail. So I didn't want to go there. This is all going to be compost in my garden and that's just going to fill up bin space. But um, the recipe I had in mind for this is going to be a seafood marinara and it's going to go well with the cockles that I processed um, on the previous video. And I've got a, also a squid that I'm going to be adding to this too. So we'll check in once um, we start cooking. Okay, we're ready to cook our um, seafood marinara. So I'll just give you a rundown on the list of ingredients that I have. We're just gonna close up. And um, what we have here is, that's the razor clam meat that's been processed already. And as I mentioned um, earlier, it, the appearance is like um, a scallop. That's the cockle meat that I uh, previously uh, prepared on the previous video uh, processing the cockles. These are just banana prawns from um, this um, fishmonger. This squid was actually, um, also caught on that night, however, it was caught off camera. And we just got some streaky bacon and some garlic. And um, the marinara that I'm doing is a seafood marinara in a carbonara style sauce uh, served with pasta is linguine. So I'll just um, bring it over and we'll start cooking. All right, so I'm gonna start with um, 
putting some pasta into some salted boiling water. Because about the time it takes to cook the pasta, it'll be about the same time it'll take for me to cook this dish. Next up, into a saucepan of hot olive oil, uh, in goes the garlic. Pop in the streaky bacon as well. And we'll just let that brown for a bit. Let all those bacon flavors come out into the oil. So now that um, the, bacon, the bacon's <laughs> browning off quite nicely, um, I'm gonna add these. These are the prawn heads. I did discard them because I, for me, these add a lovely flavor. So in they go. And we'll let that cook for a bit so it releases all its flavors into the oil with the bacon. So as you can see, from the heads of the prawns, it's developed a very nice orangey tinge. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put all the other seafood in. So these prawns, off camera, I just um, taken the shells off and deveined them. And the, clean, uh, the squid, I've just cleaned it. And we'll add the razor clams and cockles as well. Together with, um, just a little splash of white wine. I'll just pop this lid on, just let it simmer for a bit. Oh, that's coming along so nicely. Um, I'll just get a close up on that. See how the seafood's starting to cook. And about this point in time, I'm gonna add the next ingredients. So this is um, two eggs. It's being whisked with a bit of milk just to um, lighten it up a little bit. That goes in. To add a sauce base and some thickened cream. That also goes in. So this is going to be a very rich, creamy sauce, and it'll go lovely with seafood. I'll just pop the lid back on, bring it back up to the simmer, and then we'll season it to taste, and it'll be done. Now that it's back up to the simmer, it's just about ready. I'm just going to have a quick taste, just to see if it needs any extra seasoning. No, that's spot on because the seafood has its own natural salt, so I'm not gonna add any extra salt, and the bacon is, uh, has a bit of salt in it as well. So that's about ready. Just gonna bring the pasta over. And the pasta is just on al dente, perfectly cooked. Take it off heat and let's um, serve it up. I'll just pile on a mountain of linguine. This is just a bit of uh, flat leaf, leaf parsley as a garnish. And we'll just shave on a bit of parmesan cheese. Just a nice chunks of it. Just put those chunks on the top there. Season with a bit of pepper. There you have it, linguine marinara with the cabanara sauce. That's my favorite part of the, every video, it's that taste. It's gonna go straight in for that pasta. Oh, that's 
it's magical. <laughs> and um, share a bit of the, the Razor Clan. Let's give you a close up on that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Now let's go have a taste. Mmm. Much chewier than a normal scallop. However, the taste is so, so much sweeter. Um, so if you get a chance, guys, to go foraging and catching your own seafood, give it a go. You can cook up recipes like this and I guarantee you'll be thoroughly enjoying this for a long, long time. So once again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe to my channel and until the next one, bye for now.